Arda Metal Packaging is committed to delivering the most convenient and reliable graphics process in the beverage can industry. This video tutorial has been developed for customers, agencies and designers to support the creation of beverage can and end artwork. Your new can design will undergo a five-step development process. First, our graphics team will check that the proposed artwork adheres to guidelines and is suitable for the dry offset printing process. Next, our highly experienced repro and color technicians will prepare a print-ready file that meets both customer expectations and production capabilities, along with ink rollouts created from Pantones selected from the Pantone Live Library. If required we then produce can samples offline that replicate the finished can. We make sure everyone is happy with the print-ready files, ink rollouts and proof can samples before starting production. Finally, with all design components approved and the customer's authority to manufacture, Arda will then be able to plan production of the cans. To help make sure things go smoothly at the pre-press stage, let's take a closer look at some of the hows and whys of the beverage can graphic development process, starting with color. While our printing units have up to 8 inker stations, we recommend setting up layout files with a maximum of 6 different colors. This is because in some cases two separate plates are needed to print one color. You can find the information about printing, including full coverage, white ink and half tones, in the guideline color section of the graphics portal. Layouts with less than eight colors bring some further benefits too. We can achieve a good half tone performance and a good ink transfer on high surface elements at the same time. Printing is done using spot colors, it's not possible to print in CMYK. Also note that it's not possible to create extra colors by printing transparent colors on top of each other. Please convert any CMYK colors and provide layout files in spot colors. Now let's look at the all important functional and background elements of your can artwork. Please make sure there is a clear definition between white areas and substrate elements. Barcodes are generated using the customer supplied numeric code. Our team generates the barcode during the second phase of the five step graphics process, so your artwork should contain a placeholder at the correct size. It should be positioned in the artwork in the lower half of the template and sit above the base area. For more detail on size and positioning, please see our graphics portal. While color barcodes are possible, Standard black and white provides the strongest contrast. Scanners read barcodes best when the background reflects light and the bars don't reflect any. Preparing the artwork, we need to compensate for dot gain, a normal printing factor in which positive elements tend to grow while negative elements tend to fill in. We will apply a separation gap between colors during the repro stage, according to your artwork's requirements. Technical specifications on positive and negative lines can be found in our portal. The text elements are the most important part of your design and shouldn't be compromised. To ensure they're crisp and clear, we strongly recommend following our guidelines on minimum line thicknesses and character space for both negative and positive text. The can production process including necking, flanging and seaming creates certain no text areas. Use the templates available in our graphics portal to avoid positioning text in these areas of the finished can. Here are some examples. On our website you'll find all our graphic guidelines as well as master templates. Each section has an interactable checklist feature to help check off the different requirements. Our local graphics teams have created an FAQ section and will be happy to advise on any other aspect of creating successful beverage can artwork. For more information, technical parameters, templates and FAQs, visit our graphics portal.